Humanity has always looked up. We have always stared into the vast, dark expanse above and wondered about our place within it all. For millennia, our view was limited to the pinpricks of light our own eyes could gather. Then came the telescope, a simple tube of glass that revolutionized our perspective. Suddenly, the planets were no longer just wandering stars, but worlds in their own right. Galileo's first glimpses of Jupiter's moons showed us that not everything orbited the Earth. We were not the center of everything. Each new instrument we build is not just an advancement in technology, it is a new set of eyes, capable of seeing further clearer deeper into the cosmic story. It is a promise of new questions, and, if we are lucky, a few astonishing answers. These new windows to the cosmos do more than just show us what is there. They challenge what we think we know. They force us to rewrite the textbooks and reconsider the fundamental laws we once held as absolute. The universe, it seems, is under no obligation to make sense to us. It simply is. And as we peer across billions of light years, we are not just observing distant galaxies, we are looking back in time. The light from these ancient structures has traveled for an eternity to reach us, carrying with it secrets of a younger, more chaotic universe. It's the ultimate form of archaeology, sifting through the fossilized light of creation itself to piece together the grand narrative of existence. To understand the magnitude of this new discovery, we must first appreciate the instrument that made it possible. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is arguably the most complex and ambitious scientific instrument ever constructed by humanity. It is a masterpiece of engineering, a giant gold-plated eye designed to float a million miles from Earth. Its primary mirror, a stunning honeycomb of 18 hexagonal segments, stretches over six and a half meters across. This vast collecting area allows it to gather faint ancient light that has been traveling across the cosmos for over 13 billion years. It is in essence a time machine. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which sees the universe primarily in visible light which also sees ultraviolet light, Webb is optimized for the infrared. This is a crucial difference. As the universe expands, the light from the very first stars and galaxies is stretched out on its long journey to us. This stretching process, known as redshift, shifts the light from the visible spectrum into the infrared. So, to see the dawn of the cosmos, you need infrared eyes. Webb was designed specifically for this purpose, to witness the moment the first stars ignited and the first galaxies began to form out of the darkness of the cosmic dawn. The target was a distant ancient galaxy, one of many in a deep field survey designed to chart the early universe. Astronomers were patiently collecting photons, particles of light that had been traveling for more than 13.4 billion years, from a time when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. They were looking for the faint red smudges of the first galaxies, but as the data from a particularly distant proto-galaxy was processed, something utterly bizarre came into focus. It was an object within that galaxy, an object that defied all immediate explanation. They named it Arrow 2025b, Anomalous Redshifted Object 2025b. At first it appeared to be a single massive star, but that in itself was a problem. A single star, even a supergiant, should not be resolvable at that distance. The light from an entire galaxy of billions of stars blends into a point. Seeing one star would be like spotting a single light bulb on the moon with your naked eye. It seemed impossible. The initial thought, a foreground star in the Milky Way. But the data said otherwise. The object's redshift was unmistakable. The light was stretched enough to place it in the early universe, co-located with the ancient galaxy. Not an interloper, a relic from the dawn of time. To truly grasp why ARO 2025b is so shocking, we need to understand what astronomers expected to find in the early universe. Our current leading model of cosmology, the Lambda CDM model, paints a very specific picture of cosmic evolution. It describes a universe that started hot and dense and has been expanding and cooling ever since. In the beginning there were no stars or galaxies, only a vast, dark sea of hydrogen and helium gas. Gravity, the patient architect of the cosmos, slowly began to pull this gas together into denser and denser clumps. It was a gradual, hierarchical process. According to this model, the first structures to form should have been small, tiny proto-galaxies containing the first generation of stars known as Population 3 stars. These primordial suns were predicted to be massive, hot, and short-lived, composed entirely of the hydrogen and helium forged in the Big Bang. They would have lived fast and died young, exploding as supernovae that seeded the universe with the first heavy elements. 
carbon-oxygen iron necessary for later generations of stars' planets, and eventually, life. Aero 2025b throws a spanner directly into the works of this elegant bottom-up theory of formation. The puzzle of Aero 2025b only gets more perplexing the closer you look at the details. One of the most bewildering aspects is its chemical composition, or rather, its lack thereof. The light signature from the object shows it is composed almost exclusively of primordial hydrogen and helium. This lines up with the theory of the first generation of cosmic objects, but it totally contradicts its immense size. The very process that creates heavy elements, the life cycle of massive stars, is also what limits how large a single star can grow. Stellar winds and radiation pressure from a star push away the very gas it needs to feed on, creating a natural size limit. This object, Aero 2025b, seems to have bypassed that limit entirely. Calculations based on its brightness and temperature suggest a mass potentially exceeding 100,000 times that of our Sun, all in a single coherent object. Our theories of star formation say this is just not possible. A star that massive would be so unstable, its radiation pressure so intense that it would tear itself apart. So if it's not a star, what is it? When the initial data on ARO 2025b was first circulated among the astronomy team, the reaction was not one of immediate celebration, but of cautious disbelief. The first assumption everyone made was that there must be an error. Maybe a mistake in the calibration of the instrument, maybe a flaw in the data processing pipeline, maybe a misinterpretation of the redshift values. Teams around the world began independently checking the numbers, running the calculations again and again, trying to find the mistake that would make the object go away and restore order to their models of the universe. It's the first step of any major scientific discovery, try your best to prove yourself wrong. But the anomaly persisted, every check confirmed the original result, the object was real, it was ancient, and it was enormous. The mood quickly shifted from skepticism to sheer unadulterated astonishment. Emails flew across continents with subject lines like, have you seen this? And this can't be right. Virtual meetings were filled with a buzz of excited and bewildered chatter. Dr. Evelyn Reed, the lead investigator, famously described the moment. We have either found a flaw in our understanding of astrophysics, or we have found a monster. I suspect it's the latter. The public announcement sent shockwaves through the wider scientific community. At cosmology conferences and university seminars, it became the only topic of conversation. The discovery of Aero 2025b is not an end but a beginning. It has opened up a new line of inquiry and presented astronomers with a clear, tantalizing target. The immediate next step is to throw everything we have at it. The James Webb Space Telescope's schedule is being reshuffled to allow for more dedicated observation time. Scientists will use its powerful suite of instruments to conduct a much deeper analysis of the object's light. They will be looking for subtle variations in its brightness over time, which could give clues as to whether it is a single object or a very compact system. Is it rotating? Is it pulsating? Every tiny fluctuation could hold a piece of the puzzle. A key instrument in this follow-up investigation will be Webb's Near-Infrared Spectrograph, or NIR-SPEC. By breaking down the object's light into its constituent colors, or spectrum, with even higher precision, astronomers can search for faint traces of elements other than hydrogen-helium. If even a tiny amount of carbon or oxygen is detected, it would completely change the interpretation. It would mean that some form of stellar processing had already occurred which would be a vital clue. Conversely, if it remains stubbornly pristine, it strengthens the case for it being a truly primordial object, formed directly from the raw material of the Big Bang. Beyond Webb, astronomers will be scouring old data from other telescopes and planning new surveys. Now that they know what to look for they will hunt for other, similar objects. Finding more of them would be a game-changer. It would mean that our entire model of early cosmic history needs a major overhaul. Discoveries like Aero 2025b are the lifeblood of science. They are precious moments that remind us of the sheer scale and wonder of the cosmos, and of the limits of our own understanding. For all our progress, for all the elegant equations and sophisticated models we have built, the universe still surprises us, delights us, and utterly humbles us. We build these magnificent machines, these golden eyes, with a set of questions in mind. Their greatest gift is often not the answers but the new, more profound questions they inspire. This impossible object is not proof our science is wrong. On the contrary, it shows science working perfectly. 
a theory is only as good as its ability to be tested, and the James Webb Space Telescope is pushing cosmology to its limits. When data contradicts theory, we don't discard the data. We refine the theory. This is how knowledge grows. It's continual discovery, admitting what we don't know, and embracing confusion as opportunity to learn something new about reality. The story of ARO 2025b is a testament to human curiosity. It begins with our earliest ancestors looking at the stars, and continues with scientists analyzing photons from the edge of time. We look up, we wonder, we build tools to see further, and we dare to make sense of it all. This process will never be complete. There will always be another horizon, another mystery just beyond our reach. Each discovery is a door to a larger room, revealing the cosmos is more complex and beautiful than we imagined. As we stand on our small blue world gazing at data from our new eye in the sky we are reminded of a simple truth. The universe is under no obligation to conform to our expectations, its story is grander, more complex and more surprising than our imaginations. There are more things in heaven and earth and in the vast expanse between them than are dreamt of in our philosophies or our physics. The quest to understand them, to chase these impossible objects, is the greatest adventure we have.